Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an Asus laptop. So here is the Asus and I'd like to, sh to show you the model number. If you turn it around, take a look at the back of the computer. It says M509D. That would be the same model as mine. So what happened to this laptop is the LCD screen is really dim meaning that I hardly can see any display on the computer. But when I plug the HDMI, there is the H HDMI port right here. When I plug it HDMI to the TV or to my external monitor, I can see my laptop display. So that indicate that the LCD screen might have been gone bad or the backlighting has been burned out. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through from start to finish on how to do a screen replacement on this Asus laptop. All right, the first thing you need to have is the metal prying tool. What I'm trying to do is to pry open the bezel and get right into the screen. But before I can do that, I notice that the bottom left corner and the bottom right corner has this little rubber. And this tiny little rubber is somewhat hiding the screw, meaning that there's a hidden screw right behind the rubber. So we need to kind of take it out and it's not really a rubber. First, I thought it's a rubber, but technically, actually, it's a it's just a tape. So I'm using any metal prying tool that can reach out and just kind of pry open that little plastic. Do not lose the plastic because we plan to re-tape them back again. So we're gonna put that this little plastic here uh, on the side. All right, once you have done removing two of the plastic, now what you wanna do is get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using a tiny little one here, the 1.5 millimeter, and remove the two screws at the bottom. All right, so this is the 1.5 millimeter Phillips screwdriver. We just removed the two screws. Now the next step is to go ahead and pry open the bezel. Uh, what I like to do is just to kind of work my way around it, uh, find a weak spot, usually in a corner, something like here. You can feel like you can get underneath that bezel and trying to pry it open. All right, so I finally found a weak spot. So what I'm doing right now is just to pry up the screen bezel. Uh, they have like a little clipper that clips onto it. So you might have to pry it a little bit. Uh, pressure while you're working on the corner. Just take your time. You don't have to rush in this process. I notice I have to use my finger to pry it open because uh, the metal prying tool is not hard enough to uh, to pressure that the clipper. So I'm just using my finger to kind of pry it open. Okay, at this point here, the entire bezel will just pop right off. Now the next step is to take a look at the LCD screen. It looks like the LCD screen is somewhat glue or adhesive onto the, uh, the screen. I believe that is the case. Or maybe not. So let's remove the top screw here on the top right.
I do not see how they glue it in. So all it does is just a clip and pop right off. That is strange. It's first time seeing that happen. All right, I guess you just have to pop it a lot harder. You can see that this little, um, this little clipper right here, this metal clipper, it was attached to this plastic right here. So all you have to do is just pop it open. Um, it still doesn't come off yet. I believe there's this screw here might be holding onto the screen so let's find out So the way they, they make this is really weird is that that little thing is hidden behind a hinge so what you need to do is just kind of scrape it out and pry it open i find that really weird really not professional um anyway i'll explain it to you how i remove it um, but first i need to make sure the tape here is not tape down and slide a 30 pin connector away from the LCD screen and there you have it so what happened is that these two little white screw the silver screw uh, attach the top cover so this is the top cover that we call um, so what happened is we attached to that and they have this little screen this this metal right here um, being attached to that so you have to slide it in or slide it out to remove it so you just have to wiggle until you remove uh, the lcd screen now this would be the fun part when we find a replacement uh, it looks like the the replacement screen company would not come with this little bracket this bracket does not come with it i think we might have to uh, separate them and then just order the screen uh, by the way if you're not sure where to buy the screen from take a look here it says n156 bga ea3 uh, version c3 okay if you're not sure where to buy the screen uh, check out the link down description below i'll link it to either amazon or ebay where you can find a replacement screen and follow along the video for this repair all right, so what I need to do is kind of lean back a little bit. I do not want to put the pressure onto the onto the uh, the top cover. Pretty much the whole top cover just come right off, just so you know that. Um, absolutely, absolutely weird. So what you have to do is you need to pry open this metal okay this little piece of metal that attached to the screen you need to pry it open like so okay and then order the new screen 
to come in. So let's just assume that this is the new screen that comes in. You just place an order. You have to do the reverse process, um, but on top of that, you definitely need to buy uh, some of this adhesive rate tape. So this, this one here is a five millimeter. You want to buy it and re-tape it down to the screen, meaning that you gotta re-tape it down here. If you still have the tape being sticky enough, you can just leave it as is, but if not, you can buy this, tape it down. This is a double-sided tape. Uh, tip it down and then re-tip it back to your LCD screen. I do not have the new screen yet So I'm not going to do that process, but I'll walk you through what you need to do. So the one here at the very bottom uh, back bottom where the 30 pin connectors is uh, It's gonna face with this little big hole right here Okay, all you have to do is just align the one on the top Like such so make sure you align them like so And then same as this process, just align, align them like such. Make sure you re-bend the metal that fits properly, okay? Okay, once you've done with that process, the next step is to slide it back in, put the two screws together to the back, to the top cover. Kind of so slide it in put it in and have the hinge to go back and close it man this is this design here is it's a fail design it's a fail in the designing of this uh, screen replacement there's no tape or whatsoever they have a tape but they tape onto this bracket and then they'll say like, hey bracket why don't we make it difficult hide it behind the hinge so it's so hard to remove it um, my experience to this is just not fun just so you know this is a failed design and i can see the hinge can easily break the the top of the bracket on the asus because it's just so only two screw that is holding down this bracket here uh, given any time if the hinge is tight it will break the plastic anyway thanks for watching uh, if you do find the video is helpful please go ahead and click the like and subscribe to the channel um, other than that, comment below if you have any question. Until next time, bye now.